Molecular Genetics, Biotechnology, Alashmuk. Right. We're, we're talking biology with Dr. Ruth Tenen, uh, and we're going to talk now about biotechnology. Uh, so, Ruth, tell us what, what is, give us a good definition for what we mean, because biotechnology can be probably many, many things. Give yep. us a good definition. What is biotechnology? So, um, in the case that I usually think about it, biotechnology is using organisms like bacteria and yeast for useful purposes, other than what they normally do. Got it. Okay, fair enough. Um, uh, w give us some examples, like they're ma you know, making medicine, we talked about uh, 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 insulin and stuff, yep. uh, making crops and so on. Give us some other areas where biotechnology is being used today and it actually is working. Yeah, so definitely uh, making genetically modified crops. Um, mm -hmm. So for example, there's something called golden rice, which um, is a rice variety that they added a gene so that, um, or a series of genes so that it makes vitamin A. So it makes mm -hmm. basically the rice more nutritious. So that's one thing, um, kind of genetically mm -hmm. modifying plants, making medicines, um, making, um, you can make bacteria that might eat oil. That would be helpful for oil spins. There's all sorts of, and there's, there's huge international consortia that are kind of trying to figure out how can we combine different interesting genes to make bacteria do useful things for us. But what I know a lot of people seem to worry about is that when we genetically modify things using biotechnology, that we don't know what the after effects are. So for example, adding vitamin A to rice, are we then replacing rice's resistance to some virus? or some other um, thing that it has that we don't know about and couldn't know about until it's 400 generations of replication down the line and then it comes back to bite us. And there's like all these Hollywood movies that you know you read about where it ends up in zombie land. So how does that work? Like how should we think about that in a rational way, not by journalists from the left or the right, you yep. know, trying to get a rating? Is biotechnology dangerous? Um, in terms of unforeseen negative consequences, there are always safety issues whenever you're genetically manipulating things. Usually in the lab, there are safeguards, so the bacteria that we manipulate in the lab would not be able to survive in outside the lab anyway, so that wouldn't cause a problem. Um, there's really no scientific evidence that genetically modified crops or things like that cause um, real damage. So. Then why is there so much political, you know, palaver about all that stuff? Um, I think part of it is that it's kind of just like, a, it's like the yuck factor. It's kind of a weird thing. People shouldn't be playing God. They shouldn't be doing things like this. Um, and then there's also obviously like corporate interests coming in. Like what would the lobby be to say, no, don't use biotechnology to make better rice? Yeah, I think it's like sometimes like small farmers might not want to be beholden to Monsanto to get the genetically modified crops, um, things like that. And for all you future lawyers out there, note that there's no scientific evidence that GMOs as a whole damage human health or the environment. But don't just take one expert's opinion. Get Googling and read all about the subject if you're interested in learning more. What is biotechnology? In what areas do we use biotechnology? Is biotechnology dangerous?